Andy Griffith's larger-than-life personality is now permanently on display in his hometown of Mount Airy. It's all thanks to some of Roy's folks who are painting the town. I mean, I probably didn't get as much work done the week that he was here painting it because I was out here watching him a lot. As an artist herself. I don't think you ever really get used to how striking it is. Lizzie Morrison has an eye for talent. I have just never seen anything like his talent level and knew that if we were going to do Andy, had to be done by Jax. Greensboro artist Jax, known nationally for his work, taking a wall, a blank canvas like this, and evolving it into this. It's breathtaking. But to see someone able to achieve that level of hyperrealism with a spray paint can, it just really blows your mind. The many faces of Andy Griffith in his hometown of Mount Airy. Fans of Andy, whether they're fans of the Andy Griffith Show or of Matlock or of any of the things that he did, can find um, the face that they most closely relate to. And for this hometown artist, now director of downtown Mount Airy, she came up with the idea to paint the town. The biggest thing ever happened in Mayberry. It's a valuable tool to get people moving through the district and also to tell the story of who we are in Mount Airy in a big, visible way. Real big, 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 big. Barney's right. These big, real big canvases, highlighting everything from the town's natural beauty to blues legend Melba Houston, and now Andy. So I think it really does a great job telling the story of Andy Griffith and really relating it back to home. Because for locals who grew up in this all-American town that inspired Andy's Mayberry, they know this place is so much more. And I think for a lot of people from here, Mayberry is more about small town America than it is about a show. In Mount Airy. Look at Roy's folks. You can't help but look at it. It's just so amazing. Chad Tucker, Fox 8 News.